Dark's assassin has returned! All units, comb the festival grounds! I've never met, and now the fruits of your labor. 
One hollow pirate disguised, perfect for parties and undercover misadventures. And for the little guy, a copy of my new exercise book, Body by Quark. Now you two can have the calves of a champion. Did you call us here for a reason, or are you just trying to get us killed? Can it be both? <sighs> I'm just kidding. Here, I found this in Tachyon's underwear drawer. I, I, I thought it was... I, I thought it might be a clue. It's time for another installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. In this chapter, we will explore the galactic awesomeness that is Iris, the largest supercomputer in Polaris history. This mysterious behemoth is said to have an IQ of 3 billion. That would mean 170 terachnoid sages or 3 billion holonet fanboys. Built by an unknown race eons ago, Iris once served as the ultimate search engine for the universe. Now it resides deep within pirate territory, sealed off from the public. Its only master, the duplicitous Captain Slag. This has been another depressing installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. Hmm. Maybe Iris knows where the Dimensionator is. Let's go. Take me with you. I can't do this undercover thing anymore. I'm not a superhero. I'm just a hero. How am I supposed to survive without some kind of endorsement deal, huh? Well, uh, okay, take it easy, big guy. Maybe you can be a superhero. You just need to stop being so self-absorbed and whiny. You're right. This is not the time for vanity. It's the time to show the universe how amazingly awesome I am. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I hope you never have to endure the pressure of saving an entire galaxy. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs>